This is Kyle with Boots on the Ground doing another boot review today. Today we're going to be looking at the Irish Setter Ashby 6 inch mock toe. It's classified as a work boot and in my opinion it's one of the best work boots there is if not the best for the money and only 119 to 129 bucks depending on where you buy it. It's a great bargain and you're getting a, a good product. Actually Red Wing makes Irish Setter and Red Wing Shoes has been around since I think 1905 from Minnesota and they make the classic Iron Ranger and the mock toe that they have I believe that's the A75 and the Blacksmith and all those heritage lines are handmade in Red Wing Minnesota. These however I do believe are made in Vietnam but the leather that they use I'm pretty sure they, they, they tan the leather at the SB Foot Tannery in Red Wing Minnesota. The leather that they use on this Ashby is called Brook Trout and they named it for the stream that runs behind the tannery. But without further ado, let's look at the boot. I'm gonna go ahead and warn y'all they're not cleaned up. I've been wearing them at work every day for about six months, so they're still some of my favorite boots. I own a lot of them. This is one of my favorite pairs. I truly believe that for you know light duty construction. Uh, people who do electrical work, people who work on the pavement, uh, tile setters, HVAC guys, these are some of the best boots you can get. Would I recommend logging in Wisconsin with them? Probably not. You know, working in extreme cold weather? Probably not, as there's really no insulation. It's just leather and an insole. It looks like this, that's extremely comfortable. Pretty sure that's polyurethane. And then, as far as, we'll just put this one over here for now, but as far as the construction goes, like I said, this leather is really soft to the touch and it's called uh, brook trout leather and they tan this at the tannery there, Red Wing, Minnesota. And then they, I guess they assemble these in Vietnam, but as far as the wedge goes here, um, there's no wear on this so far. And this is what they call their HRO sole, and it can uh, stand heat up to 475 degrees before it melts. So people, you know, work on the highway and asphalt and stuff. These are going to be a good pair of comfortable boots for you. It's a mock toe boot, so you can see it has the moccasin toe, and there's a lot of room in this toe. And the back of the heel here has this kind of gloved leather. And so there is no breaking period on these boots. As soon as I got them out of the box, I wore them for like, you know, two, three weeks straight before I wore my thorough goods. I actually like these better than my thorough good boots and they're half the price. And so if that tells you anything. The um, sizing on this, they, you know, range anywhere from seven to 14 and you can get them in a D and people with wide feet, you can get them in a double E. And, uh, it's made on the 325 last, so there's a lot of, you know, room right here on the thing, and then it's a little tight in the toe box, but if you get the right width, it, it's not too bad. Um, and like I said, it's got a removable polyurethane insole for people with orthopedic feet that need to put a new insole for the arch support or anything like that. I don't believe it has a shank in it. it it's, a, it's a flat sole boot, which to me is the most comfortable kind of boot there is, but... There's no fiberglass shank in here or anything like that. The construction, you can see it's Goodyear well to 360 degrees. So it's not waterproof by any means, but it's water resistant. I haven't had my toes get wet in, in them at all. Um, they're resolable if you wanted to do that, but for 119, 120 bucks, you can go get a new pair. And um, it's kind of a weird texture where they do the well. You can see they got the Goodyear well, and then this piece, which would normally be cork on like a Red Wing Heritage model, is kind of like this plastic kind of texture, but it doesn't affect the comfort at all. It's an extremely comfortable boot, and uh, you, can, you can see the leather, how good it looks. I haven't even cleaned these up. They're still looking good. As far as the hardware goes, I believe these are, they look to be brass and they're eyelets. You get one, two, three, four, five eyelets on both sides. There's no speed hooks, but they're easy to get on and off as the tongue is not gusseted too high. You can see it kind of goes all the way down there. So when it's loose, this thing goes all the way like that, unlike a gusseted tongue where it would be like this and then you'd have the speed laces and stuff. So 
overall, I've been very happy with these, especially for the price point. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for the six inch Red Wing Irish Setter Ashby boot. Yeah, you, they make these in a few different models. You can get the one with the steel toe. Uh, I think there's an aluminum toe too. This happens to not be the steel toe as my thoroughbreds have a steel toe. But uh, no complaints on these so far. And I'll continue wearing them. And when they wear out, I'm sure I'll buy another pair. So that's my thoughts on, to me, what is the best work boot for the money, for light duty. And y'all take it easy. Until next time, this is Kyle with Boots on the Ground. If you liked what you're seeing on these reviews, please like and subscribe. I'll talk to you next time.